Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. Many refrigerators don't have an ice maker, but still have all the connections you'll need to install an ice maker kit. In the freezer, there should be mounting holes, a space for the fill tube, and a wire connector. On the back, there should be a spot to mount the water valve. In this episode, I'll show you how to install an optional ice maker in a top freezer refrigerator. Let's get started. To begin, you might need a screwdriver or nut driver. You might also need a utility knife and an adjustable wrench. In many cases, ice makers are sold as a direct replacement and don't come with any accessories. When installing an ice maker for the first time, you'll need the ice maker kit, which includes an ice bucket, fill tube, and a water valve. To see which ice maker you'll need, you can enter your model number on the Amory Supply website. This will bring up a model breakdown with the exact replacement parts listed on the side. First, slide the refrigerator out from the wall. When there is enough room, unplug the cord to disconnect the power. Now, slide the fridge all the way out so you have plenty of room to work. On the back of the refrigerator is an access panel. Use a 1 quarter inch nut driver to remove the screws. Now, simply lift up to remove the panel. If needed, remove the plastic covers over the mounting screw holes. Now remove the cover for the fill tube and wire connectors. In some cases, there might be two separate covers. Some models have a built-in fill tube. In this case, simply align the supply tube and tighten the nut. In other models, you'll have to assemble the fill tube. Push the washer over top. Now insert the supply tube and tighten the nut. On the back of the refrigerator is a sticker or cover. Cut the flaps and push inward. Now remove the foam insert. Next, push the fill tube into the slot. If needed, connect the water line. First, install the leveling bracket onto the bottom of the ice maker. Install the screws into the freezer wall, but don't screw them in all the way. Connect the wire harness. If needed, push the sleeve over the connector. Next, Align the ice maker over the mounting screws. Check if the fill tube is sitting over the fill cup. Now tighten the screws to secure it into place. To work properly, the ice maker needs to be level. Push the bracket against the wall to adjust the level. Now tighten the leveling bracket to lock it into place. Insert the supply tube into the water valve. Now connect the wires. Align the water valve to the mounting holes. Now tighten the screws to lock it into place. Secure the supply tube to the back using the clamps provided. 
In most cases, you'll have to replace the back panel before connecting the water line. Align the back panel onto the mounting tabs. Now tighten the screws. Next, connect the water line and tighten it with an adjustable wrench. Now, if you don't have a water line readily available, then you'll have to install one. It's easiest to connect a T fitting at the kitchen sink and run the line behind the counter. Every layout is unique, so you have to decide what works best in your home. Open the shutoff valve. Plug in the cord to reconnect the power. Now slide it back into place. Make sure to leave a couple of inches of space between the refrigerator and the wall. This will allow for proper airflow. Now insert the ice bucket. If your ice maker has a toggle switch, make sure to turn it on. Now test the ice maker to see if it's working properly. If you like this and want to see more tutorials and informational videos, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit an Amory location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.